guys, it's the adventurous allotment here, here again on my allotment. I am here to document another specific plant that I grow. Uh, last week it was the strawberry tree. This week I am going to be talking to you about the pineapple guava. And it's still a small plant, it's just behind me here, but as you'll see now, it's in flower. And here we go, there we go, the pineapple guava. Now, this is uh, quite an interesting plant. It's one of my favourite plants to grow. This is a variety called Unique. Um, I grow this because I looked up on I looked up on the um, the internet on YouTube actually, and found out that there was a variety that was self fertile. These usually need new. These usually need two plants to um, to pollinate them to to produce fruit, and that's known as dioecious plant. Uh, this one, however, is self fertile. Um, would fruit better with another strawberry tree, um, another variety of this, but um, it seems to produce fruit, at least it has done in previous years for me. And uh, But this is getting more loaded with flowers every year, and as you can see the flowers are stunning. Look at that. Look at it. It's beautiful. Now, um, the flowers, it's not just the fruits that are interesting, it's the flowers. Now, these petals that you saw before, these pink petals here, they're actually edible. And according to some people, they taste like marshmallow. I haven't actually tried them yet because I haven't got the heart to take it off because I just think it'd ruin it. Um, so I leave it on the plant. Uh, <laughs> but these flowers will eventually be, these flowers will eventually be um, followed by fruits. And the taste of the fruit is uh, hard to describe. It's very tropical tasting. I think um, I'll have to do another video on that in the future um, uh, to tell you what I think they taste of. I have tried them before but they weren't at their best ripeness and um, there was only a few there so there'll be more uh, flowers on the tree. The interest, uh, sorry, more fruits on the tree I should say. Now the interesting thing about this is I have to self pollinate these so I have to get my paintbrush out and pollinate the flowers because there is no, as far as I'm aware, there's not many pollinators that actually pollinate this plant. Naturally, this is pollinated by hummingbirds and butterflies in Brazil, where it comes from, and Argentina. Um, I don't have um, any of those uh, lovely um, birds here, so, or, or insects, so I have to get a brush out and pollinate it, and that's what I've been doing this week. So I just need to ensure that the fruit will grow on this plant. Um, so yeah just sort of tell you a bit about this um why i'm growing it i'm just growing it for fruit and for ornamental purposes it looks good it tastes good it ticks the box in my opinion and it's hardy yeah it's hardy so if you live in a, a place like the uk where it's uh, where the weather's you know not great um definitely check out this one it's uh the pineapple guava acasilawiana from the highlands of brazil thank you Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, like it and uh, subscribe to my channel, please. And uh, I will see you next time for another episode with another plant. All right.